going on guys? Jack95 Gamer here and I'm back with episode 2 of my Atletico Madrid career mode and we're finishing off pre-season here with a friendly against my favourite team in the whole wide world, West Ham United. As you can see here we do get a double with Torres and Arcadi to kick off the game and we go to the second half here, the game's 2-0 and we're looking comfortable. Koke does make it actually 3-0 against the Hammers and uh, before Torres got his second to make it 4, surely it's, the oh, well, Arcadi just made it 5. And uh, that would be probably near enough how the game would finish. A massive whopping 5 0 win against West Ham. And that is definitely what, not what they wanted to see going into the first game of their Barclays Premier League campaign. But Angel Carrera says he thanks us for playing in the last match, which we've got no problem with doing. And we have got some really good news here. Americ Laporte does accept a deal, and we get this young and aspiring centre back into the club who's just incredible. And Arlo Torres says he's a play to play in the next game. Because, guys, I found out my first three fixtures of the season is in fact against the UEFA Champions League winners and it is the probably one of the best teams in the world it is Real Madrid my word we are going to be put under immense pressure here's the team we're going with Mandzukic and Griezmann do start up front Koke in behind Thiago, Gabi, Campbell, Turan, Miranda, Laporte go straight to the team Gabriel and Moya and that is going to be it's going to be such a hard game here this is actually the Super Cup España between um, I believe the Spanish Cup winners and it's like it's basically the same as the Community Shield so, um, however you guys want to see that one. As you can see, here is their team. It's just incredible, isn't it? Ronaldo, Benzema, Bell make up the attack. Cruz, Cadira, Rodriguez, Pepe, Ramos, Marcelo, Danny Carvajal and Ika Casillas make up a fantastic uh, Los Blancos team. So, yeah, three times we're going to be meeting Real Madrid. It's the Madrid derby. And it's the derby that Madrid, uh, Real themselves, should I say, are going to be taking more and more seriously. Atletico have just come out of nowhere and are giving them the game of their lives and, you know, giving them a run as a real title threat and European threat. And movie would be the Real Madrid that dominate the start of this game though. Gareth Bale the ball plays it in to Ronaldo off the post falls to Benzema and puts it into the empty net to give Real Madrid a lead just after 11 minutes into the game and that is not the start we wanted we know we do want to win everything possible this season and you know it'd be, obviously it would be fantastic to get off to winning ways uh, with a team with a bit of silverware but against Real Madrid it's a massive ask with a team that's just got a new manager and it's the first time I'm going to see this team it's the first time I'm ever playing with this team but we get onto the ball try and get back into the game straight away Griezmann gets his shot away. It's a fantastic save. Be Real's turn to attack here with Ronaldo onto the ball. He does really well. Weaves in turns, finds Kadira. Kadira finds James Rodriguez. Rodriguez turns away from his man here. Fantastic play from the Colombian. Gets his shot to Kadira, but it's saved well. And we do eventually get the ball away. It wouldn't stop Madrid attacking, though, as they currently attack yet again. Ronaldo onto the ball. Flicks it into Gareth Bale. Puts it as a near post. And the Welshman doubles Real Madrid's lead. Uh, just half now got it into this game. And we are in major trouble. Gareth Bale gets his first goal in the Super Cup España and we are in a, a world of trouble here but we do get a free kick on the edge of the box here. New Man Thiago will be lining up against uh, Ica Casillas. He takes it and oh my word that is an incredible free kick from New Man Thiago to get us right back in this game. 37 minutes in and it is now 2-1 and that is the answer I was looking for from the team after going 2-0 down. Obviously you, you, you just don't have the confidence when you go 2-0 down to Real Madrid you think game over but not my boys we will keep fighting until the end and uh, it just proves here that our attitude does pay off and Thiago puts in a fantastic free kick and that's just a well worked set piece in my opinion that's his first goal in this competition also Griezmann onto the ball now we got the momentum we're on the attack here comes Koke onto the ball Koke does really well to find Griezmann Griezmann with the shot and he snatches out and it just goes wide of the mark there the a Frenchman couldn't find the back of the net on his debut for the club also as Benzema does play in Cruz his debut for Real Madrid the German who recently arrived from FC Bayern it does play it into Marcelo Marcelo does find Benzema fantastic save for Moya who's kept us in this game let's be honest uh, with his saves the ball Comes in again. James Rodriguez misses. It's a penalty claim there. We clear it only as far as Ronaldo. Ronaldo onto the ball. What can he do? He plays it into Aguero. And what a save that is. And Bow misses an absolute sitter to kill the game off at 3 1. But he does miss it. And here come Madrid again. Kadira links up with Aguero, who recently signed from Manchester City on his debut there today. It falls to Kadira. And Moya again that kicks us into the game. What a player this guy is. Akali does come on. I believe Sol comes on. And I believe we do bring on. I'm not too sure we bring on it. Um, also, Carrera, Angel Carrera does come on also. We do like the free kick with Gabby though. Gabby takes it off the post. Mazzucchi is there. It's 2-2. Two -two. Eight minutes left to go here. Out of the burner bell. And Madrid will add. Let's go. Do draw level here. What play there from Mario Mandzukic to put it into the back of the net. And uh, Casillas was left standing. He didn't see the rebound. Come back to Mandzukic. That's his first goal in the Super Cup Espana. And we're back on terms here. Now let's just hold on boys. But Madrid will come on the attack. Yeah, again, James Rodriguez. Can we hold on here? Plays it into Sergio Ramos. They're all out of 
attack. The ball comes in. Isco heads it down to Ramos. Ramos into Ronaldo. And oh, God, it had to be the Ballon d'Or winner. The world's best player saves Real Madrid right at the death to put them 3-2 up. And that probably be how this tie is ending. What a finish that is from Ronaldo. Left the goalkeeper rooted to the spot. No chance there. And Cristiano Ronaldo absolutely delivers a massive blow to us right into this game. The game does finish at the burn about 3-2. Obviously, we will be playing at our stadium to try and get the game back in our favour. But, you know, <laughs> we put up a really good fight here. As you can see, the game was really even. Real Madrid, I think, edged it a little bit. They was deserved winners. But hopefully, we can turn this tie around on its head at the home game. Uh, with the home advantage, I can see us doing really well here. Moya, if there was any doubt in anyone's mind, he was man of the match with a 9.4 rating. He was just incredible in that. And he was the reason the game only remained at 3-2. It could have easily been about 5-2 uh, if... Uh, if the, if the shots were at another goalkeeper, in my opinion. As you can see, we put another deal in from Mustafi, but it looks like the deal is not going to happen. But after that game, I decided Arda Torres has just not got a place in this team, unfortunately. And we do go after an ambitious bid of Marco Reus, plus 20 million plus Torres, which could be a deal to uh, uh, bend their arms, you know, hopefully. But we're going to the next leg of the tie against Real Madrid. Here is our bench. Uh, as you can see, the same team does start in this game. And again, we play Real Madrid straight after again in the league of BBVA also. So you know we've got Madrid derby to you know get things off. But we're at the Estado Vicente Carjolon, and uh, hopefully we do get a win. I'm hoping we can, but we it's so difficult. You know, it's, we're playing for that, and it's just Real Madrid are a fantastic side, and they are the, probably the best team in Spain right now. Aguero, Ronaldo, Baldi make up the front three. That is an incredible front three, guys, and. I hope we can get a win here, but it would be Madrid that attack on the front foot yet again right at the start of this game. Ronaldo into Aguero, back to Ronaldo, back to Karin Trau. The Portuguese man flicks it over the top to find the Welshman Bow. Really good header there, but it was offside, unfortunately. Coque on the attack now. Slips in Fernando Torres. Fernando Torres is through a goal. Can the Spaniard score on his return to Atletico Madrid? Here he comes, and oh, good save there from Iker Casillas, his Spanish counterpart, to deny him the goal. But here come Madrid oh, at Real again. Cadira onto the ball. Aguero, the Argentine guys through a goal. Fantastic. Fantastic save from Moya there to uh, avoid embarrassment from getting chipped there. Really good save there from the Spanish goalkeeper. He's in form of his life. As we get an opportunity here with Coque. That's That should be 1-0. Coque, he misses an absolute sitter. Real Madrid were caught sleeping at the back. Coque caught him off guard, but unfortunately we couldn't find the back of the net. That is just incredible. As we bring on Sol, we bring on, I believe, Timo Werner. Timo Werner comes on too. As we get to the 71st minute, nothing has happened in the last part of this game really, guys. It's been an absolute boring one. It's been all played in midfield. As Correa gets an opportunity, puts it back across goal. He looks for Manzo. Zuki just saved into the hands of Casillas. We come to the attack again. Torres into Koke. Koke sees Joel Campbell in space. What could the Costa Rica man do? He gets tackled, but he's still in position of the ball. He does find Sol on the edge of the box. He takes his shot. He snatches out the young 19-year-old and cannot find the target. Here comes uh, Real in there. Benzema onto the ball. He does really well to hold it up. Cross it all the way back into Hammers Rodriguez. Rodriguez fires Ronaldo. Ronaldo with the shot. Great save there from the goalkeeper to put... Uh, um, prevent the Ballon d'Or winner from finding the back of the net here. Here comes Mandzukic now, the Croatian, who recently arrived from FC Bayern, also gets the cross in, fires Carrera, and that should be 1-0. And that would have took the game to extra time. But the game does finish here, guys. It's a disappointing 0-0 draw. It means Real do take the tie and do lift up the Super Cup Espana. Uh, it's a good win for them, in my opinion, but I think the team, we can take a lot of positives out of that match, you know. We definitely played our hearts out, and it, it was a good performance from all the lads involved. And hopefully we can push on now in the next episode, and get, the, get, get revenge on Real. And uh, uh, well, the way things are going, we are due a win against them, you know. We've lost and drawn, and that must mean the only other result could be a win for us. Hopefully we get uh, the perfect start to the league of BBVA season, and beat rivals, and get a massive three points over them early on. They're the match stats, guys. We do get a bid coming in from Barcelona for Lucas Hernandez, and we are not letting him go. And that would be the end of the episode, guys. So if you did like that episode, make sure you do hit that like button for a new episode to be at tomorrow. If you're new around here and you haven't already, guys, and you're enjoying the series, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. The first episode was out yesterday for Dimitri Stats, so make sure you do go see that. We do send Siku Keita out on loan. And as always, guys, have a really nice day. I'll catch you in the next one. Comment down below for suggestions on the series. I love to see your suggestions. And we do get Antonio Ruggier into the team. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace!